Hello and welcome to Teacher Rohulas channel. In this video, we are going to work on exercise 2.1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Workbook 5. The first question in this exercise is asking if this is an isosceles triangle or not. So it says, is this triangle isosceles? Having a look at the triangle, we can find out that this side and this side are of equal sizes, but this side is different. So a triangle in which two sides are of equal sizes is called an isosceles triangle. So I can say, yes, it is. And now here it says, how do you know? By looking to the sides, because two sides are, because two sides are of equal sizes, of equal sizes. So because the two sides and at the same time, two angles which are opposite to the sides are also equal. Let's move to question number two and question number two it says draw a ring around scale and triangles we have some triangles over here which are labeled from a to e triangle a is an equilateral triangle because all the sides are equal triangle b is an isosceles triangle because this side and this side are of equal sizes and the triangles which are scaling is C, D, and F. And triangle E is also isosceles because these two sides are equal. We are done with question number two. Let's go down to question number three. In question number three, it is asking us to label angle of each vertex of these triangles as acute, obtuse, and right angle. Acute, obtuse, and right angle. So it's starting from A. This angle is acute angle because its size is less than 90 degrees. And angle B is angle B is right angle triangle. Right angle. Angle C is also acute because it's less than 90 degrees. In triangle B, angle A is acute. We know acute triangle is less than 90 degrees. And angle B is obtuse because it is more than 90 degrees. And angle C is also acute. And this is also less than 90 degrees. In triangle C, the angle A is also acute, angle B is also acute, and angle C is also acute. So in this triangle, all the angles are acute. We are done with question number three. Let's go down to question number four. In question number four, it is asking us to draw a scale and triangle using a ruler and a pencil. Because I cannot use ruler and pencil in this application, I have solved it in another application. Let's go and watch it together. In question number four, we are asked to use ruler and pencil to draw a scale and triangle. So to draw, I will use the ruler. This is the ruler, let me bring it down. To draw the scale and triangle, I will first draw this line. On this side, I will choose a seven centimeter, and then I will draw the one here. This one I will choose eleven centimeter, and finally, I'm going to draw.
This is now a scaling triangle. I used ruler and pencil to draw it. Now that we are done with question number four, let's go down to question number five. In question number five, it says, on each of this isosceles triangle, circle the angles that are the same size. You could use tracing paper to compare the size of the angles. Again, I'm limited uh, to the application. I cannot use tracing paper, but I will use the clues to find the same size angles. We know that in an isosceles triangle, the angle opposite to the isosceles angles are equal. So this angle and this angle are of equal sizes. And here, this side is equal to this side. So this angle and this angle are of equal sizes. The same way in triangle C, this side is equal to this side. So the equal angles are here and down here. In triangle D, these two are the equal sides. So the equal angles are here and here. You can use a tracing paper to find the equal sized angles in your book uh, because you can use the paper, you can use pencil and ruler over there. But uh, because of the limitation of the application, I couldn't use tracing paper, but I found out the angles of the same sizes. Let's now move to question number six and see what we are asked to do in question number six. In question number six, we have two parts. The first part says, write a sentence about the sides of equilateral triangle. Sides of equilateral triangle. We know that an equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all three sides and three angles are of equal sizes. So I can write an equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, okay, triangle, all the sides, all the sides are of equal, of equal sizes. Okay, this is the sentence that we could write about the sides of equilateral triangle. In part B, we are asked to write a sentence about the angles of equilateral triangle. The same way, like the sides, the angles of equilateral triangle are also the same measure. So we can write in equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, the angles, the angles measure the same. Measure the same. For example, if we have an equilateral triangle, like the one here, think of it as an equilateral triangle, but actually it's not because I'm not sure if these sides are of equal sizes, but we can accept it as an equilateral triangle. We can say that this side, this side, and this side are of equal sizes. At the same time, the angle here and the angle over here and also this angle are of equal sizes. In equilateral triangle, the angles measure 60 degrees. Measure 60 degrees because they are equal. And if we add them, we will get 180 degrees as the total of the angles of the triangle. We are done with question number six. Let's go down to question number seven. In question number seven, part A, it is asking us to draw an isosceles triangle with two sides six centimeters long and the other side shorter than six centimeters. Again, I have solved this question in another application. We will watch it together. So let's watch. 
In question number seven, we are asked to draw a triangle in which two sides are six centimeters and the other side is less than six centimeters. So to draw it, I will use the ruler, line segment and canvas. So this is the ruler. First, I will draw the line which is less than six centimeter. So I will choose it five centimeter and then I will use the canvas. This is now the point where the two lines meet. Let me rotate the ruler so that I should find the point where the two lines meet. Now an isosceles triangle in which the two sides are 6 cm and the other side is less than 6 cm. Very nice. Now that we are done with part A, let's move to part B. In part B it says, draw an isosceles triangle with two sides 6 cm long and the other side longer than 6 cm. The same way as part A of question number 7, I have solved this question in the other application. So let's watch it together and then we move to question number 8. In part B of question number 7, it says, draw a triangle in which the two sides are 6 cm and the other side is more than 6 cm. To do so, I will draw uh, the line which is more than 6 cm first. So I use the ruler, I'll make it, let me make it 8 cm, 8 cm is more than 6 cm, now I will use the compass. Now I'll draw another arc and find the point where the two lines meet. The point that the two lines meet is out here. Well, now that we are done with part A and B of question number seven, let's move down to question number eight. Okay, and question number eight, it is asking us to trust the triangles in this tessellating pattern. Tessellating pattern. Make templates of the triangles and complete the pattern. Tessellating pattern, you know that the patterns that are making tiling patterns tiling patterns that do not leave any gap in between if we have an overall look to the triangles which are drawn on the left from the top left corner we can see that this triangle and this triangle are right angle triangle which are the same size right angle triangle which are the same size and the same thing is repeated down here. If we draw a line here, again, we get two right angle triangles. 
now that we have found the templates of the triangle, we can draw it this way. Again here and here, we can make the right angle triangle. In the two right angle triangles which are put together, the upper one is cut into two isosceles triangles. Two isosceles triangle in which this side and this side are the same size. And the same way here, this side and this side are the same size. So I can draw the isosceles triangle here also. Again, this one and this one are the same. And this one and this one are the same. So we continue it here also. Okay, now this is isosceles triangle and this is a right angle triangle. Let's continue. Okay, I will make the templates. Okay, now we can first draw the right angle triangle, then the isosceles, right angle triangle, then the isosceles, right angle triangle, the two isosceles triangles, then right angle triangle and the two isosceles triangles. The same way the last one, right angle triangle and the two isosceles triangles. And here, which is the last part, is having two right angle triangles. And this one we cut into two isosceles triangles. We are done with question number eight by making a tessellating pattern and completing the pattern. Let's now move down to question number nine and see what we have there. In this question, it says, this is a crossword. It's filled with words about triangles. And now it's asking us to try the clues for the crosswords. The crosswords are given here. Number one is isosceles. Number two is angle. Number three is side. Number four is tessellates. Number five is uh, which is down here, triangle, and number six is a skeleton. Now to write the clues about them, we will look to the number and find out what it is. So across we have four and six. Number four says tessellates. To tessellate means to make tiling patterns, tiling patterns. And we can write all triangles, all triangles tessellate. All triangles tessellate. Because all the triangles can make tiling patterns. Number six is scaling. We can write none of the sides, none of the sides are equal. It means in a scaling triangle, all the sides are different. So the crosswords down are one, two, three, and five. One, two, three, and five. Let me scroll it a bit down. So number one is isosceles. Number one is isosceles. So what are the clues about isosceles triangle? The clues about isosceles triangle is two sides and two, two sides and two angles are equal. Two sides and two angles are equal. I can show it by a figure here. This is isosceles here two sides are equal and these two angles are also equal. Let's see what number two is. Number two is angle. So because it's about triangle, we can say triangle, triangle has three angles, has three angles. And number three is sight. Triangle, we can write triangle 
has three sides. Three sides. And the last one, which is number five, is triangle itself. We can say here that triangle triangle has three sides three sides and three angles triangle has three sides and three angles so with question number nine we are done with exercise two one of workbook five of cambridge primary mathematics i hope it helps you learn something about types of the triangle according to the sides according to the angles and also tessellation and how we can tessellate maybe triangles maybe other shapes so to get notified about our upcoming videos please subscribe to my channel like the videos and if you have any question you can leave your question in the comment section under this video have a nice time and thank you so much